Okay, let's take a look at how to create an email address or and put it on your PC as well. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to log into your client zone. Clientzone.x3web.co.za So this is if you're an X3 web client, this is the method that you're going to use. You can use the same method with most uh, proper hosting servers as well. Okay, so we use WHMC to do this. The way you're going to do it is you're going to, uh, over here you've got your logins to your website and everything. We're going to use Plesk. We use Plesk. Okay, so you see I want to log into this domain. You're going to have a list of your domains. I want to log into this domain and I want to create an email for this domain. Then I'm going to say log into Plesk. Moment I'm logging to logged into place, it's going to show me my domains over here. You choose the domain that you want to create the email on, and you're going to see your WordPress, you're going to see your dashboard, your hosting and DNS settings, your mail, and you get started. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go to mail, you want to go to mail accounts. Okay. From mail accounts, you see here I've got some email addresses already. I want to do a new one. Okay, so let's create an email. So over here, uh, let's call this email address this video. So I want to make an uh, email address as video at gamersx3.com. Here you want to put in the email address. If you forget a password, you can uh, reset and everything with this email address, but you don't have to put it in because you always have access to your backend. Password, what I like to do is I like to generate the password. Okay, then what you want to do is already uh, unhide it and copy this password and keep it on your clipboard. Okay, from the end, you can put the description if you want to, but you don't have to, and you just say, okay, and your email box is created. Now, from here onwards, you're going to need to put this email address on your PC. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and you're going to say control panel. Okay, so you click on a control panel and you open your control panel. Over here you can choose the icons. I like to use small icons. Okay, and then we're going to go, you're searching for this one. It says Mail Microsoft Outlook. Okay, and then you click on this. And then from this, email accounts. And then you want to go and you say new, new email account. Okay, from here on, you want to say manual setup and you say next. Okay, it's not a Microsoft 365 email. We're going to do an IMAP email. You're going to say yes over there. And you're going to say next. Your name, you're going to put in your name. My name is Quentin Rep. Okay, my email address that I'm using, I'm created is video at gamersx3.co.za. Type, you're going to change this to IMAP. Incoming server is mail.gamersx3.com. Okay, so it's your domain. You see this part over here? Oh, you see I got it wrong there. It's .com. Okay, so it's your domain. It's this section over here. And then you just add mail dot in front. Your outgoing server is mail dot your domain dot Com. This is exactly the same on your phone. Eh? Password, you're going to right click and you are going to say control, um, control V to paste it. So you want to paste it over here. From here onwards, you're going to say more settings. Okay, then you're going to go to outgoing server and you're going to say my outgoing server requires authentication. You're going to say yes. You're going to go to advanced. Over here, you're going to say... This one is 993. So incoming server, your IMAP is 993. It uses SSL-TLS. So SSL-TLS. Outgoing server is not port um, 25. It's port uh, 465. And it uses SSL-TLS. Okay, from there onwards, you're going to say OK. It's going to open this port over here. Now you can say next. And it's going to try and log into your server. So something is wrong over here. Okay, now you have to go figure out what's wrong. Okay, it say stop and let's close it. Video at Gamers X3 video. Oh, you see, this is where I went wrong. Okay, I chose the wrong domain. Okay, so let's just create the username correctly and say next. 
Okay, logged in over there. Okay, give it a second. It's sending a test email. We must make sure it works. Okay, it's still sending the test email. Looks like something is not set up correctly. I'm going to have to check that. Test email Outlook cannot connect to the outgoing server. So something is wrong. So what you're going to do is you're going to read your Outlook cannot connect to the outgoing SMP server. So something's wrong on my outgoing server. Incoming server, outgoing server, more settings. There, advanced. Ah, you see uh, it changed back to 225. So it's 465. Okay, it must always be 465. You say OK. And you say Next. Okay, it goes into the incoming server and test message sent. Now it's completed. Okay, so and you say finish and then it will be on your Outlook. So when you get an error message, read the error message and that is the part that something went wrong. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to open up Outlook. Okay, let's put Outlook on the screen over here. Let's put this away. Let's put this away. Let's put this away. Yes, video at Gamers X3. Okay, let's open it up, let's go to inbox, there's the test message, and from there onwards, you just say new email, and you can start sending and receiving emails from your new email address. Let us know if there's anything that you stuck with. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day.